Hello, good day, guys. It's Promise Sebastian here once again. Okay, so I told you guys I'm, I'm going to be teaching you guys something on Hazel Lab today. Okay, so I thought of this how to curve already made designs. Like this, you see some recent designs when they try to present it as a mock up, you see the edges are curved. So you can actually curve this thing without maxing, or you can see I didn't max it that maxing i didn't max it or without erasing it or without erasing so you can just get curves in because this is the latest uh, uh, design presentation pattern like curve edges and you can just get already made design without curving it you like already made design that is not curved and you will curve the you will curve it instantly like this on pixel lab just watch i'm going to take you guys through okay so the process goes like this let me remove this one and start afresh it's very simple and it will take our time so let me delete start afresh so i first of all you do you get a shape get a shape get a shape then make the shape with a color that is visible that you can see then you add add you add a radius to the shape you can use normal radius is 10 10 is okay or 11 at maximum or just let me just leave it i've made it 11 already to start adjusting this guy okay 10 it's okay so you've gotten something like this so if it's a long flyer you might try to adjust longer longer to fit in but this is a square flyer i'll still teach you guys this is a square flyer you get a square shape you go and add it as texture this is the uh, shape here you add it as texture you add your design as texture it's not going to affect it it's going to be perfectly clear and still okay when you add it as texture and still save the design to be clear and okay no after effect it works perfectly well when they i saw that design vogue like curve design edges i tried how can i curve my already made design apart from curving it and started and start designing it from scratch so this is the pattern you add it as texture this i've added as texture i've added you click the image you add it as texture in that shape the curved shape you've gotten already so you see it have appeared as texture so assuming i have something let me adjust this here assuming i have something like this now it's not okay what you do is you keep adjusting you take it up small take it up yeah you see and it have affected here so you shift here small shift smaller so this is the adjustment process okay i've gotten something okay then this one needs to be worked on a little bit okay you see it is now okay so this is how it's been done if it's a flyer if it's a flyer you mean i made this thing long now as a flyer you see it will adjust properly due to it's a flyer you won't have something like this okay let me get the long flyer let me get a long flyer let me delete this and add another texture okay let me use this guy this is a long fly you see it it is affecting the size so i shift this size small shift small see it's now proper so for you to see the curved edges well now due to this is white now let me add a shadow to this guy so you enjoy it very well you see the effect you've created Let me reduce the shadow press ok so you can see it now so this is it it's very very simple some people might be i know some might have known the knowledge i've gotten the knowledge uh, but some I might still be finding it difficult so this is it and this is it okay so you can is the current trend now you can just add curves to your design and make it much more present, uh, presentable even the already designed one okay so Thanks for watching and don't forget to share with your friends, share with your friends. I don't see a reason you shouldn't share my video. So share with your friends and there are still more coming. There are still more coming. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.